This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. I'm Tim Wellbanks, agronomy lead for Mazex Seeds. We're in Mount Bridges, Ontario at the farm of uh, George and Douglas Skinner. Doug is about uh, two-thirds planted in his corn acreage. We're planting here today uh, on uh, a sandy loam soil. Doug, uh, Doug is planting it up at about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters depth. His, uh, his John Deere planter is equipped with uh, Keaton seed firmers to try and uh, to uh, put the seed in as uniformly in the ground as possible and just to uh, stimulate uniform emergence. He's planning, he's shooting for a population of around 31 to 32,000 final plants per acre. He uses a starter fertilizer with an analysis of about 10, 30, 30 at about roughly 200 pounds per acre, trying to get about 20 pounds of uh, N, 40 pounds of P, and 40 pounds of K to uh, get that good early, early growth and good early start for the, the seed crop. Uh, we're also doing something unique uh, on this farm today. We've, we've got a split planter comparison. Uh, eight rows of the planter have uh, is uh, conventional fungicide seed treatment and four rows uh, have uh, Votivo in addition. It's a sandy loam soil. We, we suspect that there could be some uh, issues with nematodes and uh, so we're trying to, trying to I do a trial to see the effect of Otivo and we'll be sampling for nematode populations later on in the season. This is a conventional tilled field um, with good residue cover because it is a sandy loam uh, soil. So here's an example of, uh, example of the soil. You can tell that it's uh, very, very friable. Uh, there's no, uh, it doesn't ball up or it's, it breaks up nicely. You can also tell by the darkness that there's still adequate moisture in that soil to, to get good uniform uh, germination and emergence. And here's also an example of, of good residue cover on the soil uh, and that helps uh, this, this uh, type of sandy loam soil could blow uh, if there's excessive winds but, but, we're, but uh, Doug is, is striving to have good uh, good residue on top of the soil to protect from wind erosion. This particular field, part of it is corn on corn, so Doug has selected a hybrid uh, with the Genuity Smart Stacks trait uh, to, pr to provide uh, rootworm protection from, uh, from uh, potential rootworm larvae feeding later on in the season. And it is also in an area where there's a heavy western bean cutworm population, so the Smart Stacks trait will help uh, protect if there's a, a western bean cutworm outbreak. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.